Okay, testing one, two, three. Is there still an echo? to see if there's an echo. You don't hear an echo? Cool. Cool, cool. Okay. Now I'm going to do something and you let me know if you hear an echo or not. You know if you hear an echo or not. Okay, is there an echo now? Okay, is there an echo now? Okay. Okay. Now is there an echo? Are you still hearing it? Or is it gone now? <clears throat> yes, fish hype. Somebody yesterday wanted to know if I could do a, like a golden, like metallic looking koi. So I was like, all right. Yeah, sure. Hey, Anna, is the sound fixed? So I have some, a few different, yay! Okay, so it looks, it looks like it's when I have my sound on in the background with Twitch up. Because I have, I have Twitch running and I have Streamlabs running. <clears throat> with Twitch up, I can hear it when somebody uh, subscribes and does little stuff. It makes noises in my headphones next to me. That way I can... I can see when stuff happens, but now I can't hear it. That's okay. That's okay. I can look at my screen more. I look at my screen, I can see it. Good morning, Rex. I have to say, koi koi. <laughs> So this little chunk 
of gold that came from the Primo like multicolor pack is a lot softer than that one. <laughs> so I'm going to work with this one. Oh, he one upped me. <laughs> Um, well, the last koi I made was one chunk of, uh, of the four that come in the pack. So if I, hang on, uh, I need to find one that's got one chunk left. A something, a something that has one chunk left so I can weigh it. This has one chunk left. How much do you weigh? Right between those two. Okay. He will be this big. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit, a little bit. Of, yes, it was off a hair. Okay. Look at this. Two. There. He will be this big. Um, one chunk. One chunk is um, half a dragon, give or take. Because, you know, I do my dragon, then I add the tail as another chunk. So, but I, I'll show you in just a second. Um, what I do is, and this will be number three koi fish I've ever made. So, it's still, still a learning process. But a fun one. And we have koi. <laughs> so I, I make it I make the little blob <laughs> blob of a body and then we add the pretty little fins and make it gorgeous and the eyes and the whiskers. And uh, well, this one's gonna be all gold, but if it had the coloring, then we would add the shapes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your confidence in me, Anna. <laughs> Starting bid, $10,000. <laughs> hey, Osiris, how are you? How you been? Can you guess what this is? It could be a tadpole, Anna. All I have to do is add eyes. I'm done. <laughs> it is the beginning of a koi fish. It is the koi fish's body. This is going to be his head and then the tail. So I need to add the, the little fins and then the fin back here, kind of splooshing around. Sploosh, technical term for the day. And then a couple of eyes. Yes, oh, Jill, I saw your picture. That is so cute. And yes, tiny leaves are hard. <laughs> I can attest to that. I have Bavarian cream today, by the way. Hey, look, koi fish. Huh. I said these are little chibi koi fish. This one, this one's got longer fins. But these ones do not. They got little... Hey, Guinevere! <coughs> Cuckoo! <laughs> Makes all the other type also go bloop. <laughs> I shall name it Bloop. <laughs> Okay. 
Yes, it did look like a horn. Uh, Osiris, yes. Yes, or like a raptor claw. Ooh, right there, raptor claw. Put some texture in it. <laughs> yeah, that's looking really nice, Joe. Welcome, welcome viewer. Thank you, Osiris, for hosting me. I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. Well, that does it for today's tutorial of the Golden Claw. See you guys next time. Just kidding. <laughs> These are going to be the little, the little back, the little back things. Or actually, well, do we, do we, we want, I, I kind of like making the long finned koi. It's just for the purpose of the clay. It adds, it adds some pizzazz to it. Do you guys, do you guys like that? Or do you not even know? Because maybe you haven't even seen the kiwi koi koi. That is a lot of koi in a sentence. Yes, they are, Jill. Super cute. I can show everybody if you want. It's a uh, Jill's dragon that she's making. If you can see it. It's got some vines, some leaves. It looks like red, red leaves or green leaves. <laughs> will work. Being as this is my third koi fish ever, I don't quite have the sizes down yet, Pat, of, of like what I really want to do with them. I'll get there. I think I want to make this a little small. I hope dark shows up. This was a dark's idea. The gist is that I make this shape and then uh, I smash it down. Like this. And I'm, I'm kind of leaving the upper edge. So I'm smashing everything but the upper edge to give it, like, you know, that's where the, the little bones are. But this could be the uh, the beautiful little fins. So the gist would be it would tuck in right here, and we would have a fin. It's a little too big, so definitely good to know that now. I'm gonna cut a little bit more off here, and then cut some off here. Reroll it and try the size again. Mm. 
what's cool about the gold is that when you roll it up and you condition it, um, it gets these cool little swirlies in it from where the clay connects to each other. Has to do with some kind of weird something in the clay that makes it shiny, the way it lays. And so, if you look, if, you can, if it's possible to see it, it's got these neat little swirlies in it. Like sometimes they're dark and they're just, they're all over the place. So you never know what you're going to get when you work with the metallic. Yes, that's it's just like the pearl, yep. Exactly. Like this dude, he's got some crazy stuff going on with his green. It's it's really fun. The swirly, look at his swirly tail. You can see it. Got swirlies. Maybe you can't see it. But they're there. Cleopatra's growling. She's sleep she's sleep growling. It's gorgeous. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> Are you two the same size? Yes. Good. <clears throat> I'm going to make it so some of this color is popping up. We need to see it. That is fun. <laughs> Yours too, huh, Joe? They're so cute. I love my puppies. They're not puppies. I just call them puppies. So now, we'll check this size and see how we like it. I think, I think that would be really nice, this size right here. What do we think? Because then we'll have one more fin coming here, and then we'll have the big tail fin coming out back here. And then two little eyes. Beep, beep. Oh, I'll get it. Sorry. Sorry for the arm in your face. Okay. Let's get it textured. We get our handy dandy silicone tool. Just gonna start uh, kind of smashing in some lines. I usually do about five, five little lines like that, <clears throat> and then I keep, I keep going over them, and I also kind of just go over the whole thing because there are many little lines on the fish. But I, I give the deep grooves a little extra love because they are going to get smashed down at the bottom, which give a really nice effect for the fin. Hey Derek, welcome. We're doing the golden koi. Um, you're asking, how long does it take to bake? Oh, an hour. I bake all my stuff, no matter the size, for an hour. I 
I don't know about the new scale tool. Um, I haven't tried scaling these koi yet. Like, I don't know if it's going to be the right size or not. Uh, it might be too small, but see, because I got this new toy to, to scale with. I mean, I guess I could try it. I guess now would be the time, wouldn't it, if I were going to try it? Should I just do it? Or should I, or should I not? <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to ruin it. It's, it's, it's the little tadpole right now. Do it. Peer pressure at its best. Okay, okay, okay. It's what I bought it for was to try doing it. So let's see how it goes. This is either going to go very well or very bad. There we go. I have to start back some because koi have really um, smooth faces and then the scales start back. So we've got to give them a nice little headspace. And I guess I'll start in the middle. Gosh, he's got a curve too. I've got a scale and a curve. That's. Thanks. Thanks, Jill. Where should I go? I, I can't do the whole thing. I'll do this many on each side. That way it's even and whatever. Even Steven and all that. Okay. So what I've done is I've made a little row. You can see it. That will be the top row. So now, <clears throat> uh, oh, Namato, you're saying? Oh, oh, oh Doitsu, yeah. So, just so others who are not fish savvy, a doitsu koi is a koi that has no scales. Now you know. So now I'm going to hit in between each of these little lumps that I've made. to get our second row. And now we have two rows. And it's looking more scaly. Yeah, yeah, Nevada. They've got a few clumped up here and there. Now we do the same thing. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let's see if I can make it so you guys can see what I'm doing here.
Although if I keep this up, this is just going to triangle up. So I'm going to have to come down one more on this side. Every other one to make it look like the scales are continuing and you just can't see them. Correct, Anna. You are you are correct on both accounts there. <laughs> but it is what it is. So we'll just keep plugging away and eventually I just hope I can make the turn okay. <laughs> or maybe if I should straighten it out and then pull the turn again. That, that might have to happen. Yeah, if it doesn't turn out, I can always just roll it up again.
Well, this is how it's looking so far. Wow, digital scales, huh? That's cool. Motto. There. <laughs> I think that's, is that right? Does it look okay? Yes, I do. Anna, get it from Michaels. This is what we have so far. Um, Jill, are you using Primo Sculpey? Because I can only attest for Primo Sculpey big times. Because that's all I use. What do we think of these spots on where the wing, uh, wings, wings, <laughs> they look like wings. Uh, should they be, should they be down a little farther? Or are they good right there? Yeah, Primo, bake it for an hour. I mean, if you're using anything that's about making something about anything about this size, still bake it for an hour. So yeah, there's a, there's a type of koi, Anna called the butterfly and it's a koi fish um, but their fins are longer so it looks like they're swimming around their pajamas so um, that's what I've been making so far with my koi is, is butterfly koi so what I'm going to do now is attach the arms the fins to the body I need my stamp. I'm gonna forget my stamp. Let me forget it. So it's raining here today, super exciting.
How's the weather for you guys? Oh, you say I should put these? I still can. I, it's not like I can't. I can put them back a bit. I just wanted to make sure to leave room for the other stuff too, you know. To the other fins. So these are the pectorals, huh? That's... And Namato gave me wonderful advice on my last koi as far as fin placement and sizing and stuff. So, hey, if you see something, you let me know. And I'll fix it. And then if I smoosh my little, I can always come back to this thing and plump them up a bit. Reshape them. I'm gonna go ahead and add, add the koi stamp before I can't add it. There, I got a koi on my koi. <laughs> okay. Let's see if these will be big enough for the. So, all right, um, Namato. So, what are these ones called? The next row of fins. Oh, uh, you just said it. Okay. So, from front to back, pectorals, pelvics. Oh, the anal fin. That's the that's the one at the very back. I haven't put I haven't added that one yet just because of the way the fish lay. I just figured it just maybe didn't need to be seen, but Coddle is the tail. Cool. Cool, cool. And just for those who have never seen the butterfly koi, allow me to show you the majesty. will work.
So they're just like regular koi fish, but they have really, really long fins. Sometimes they get tattered. Oh, it's an Ochiba butterfly Ochiba. That's, that's my favorite. Remember the gray with the brown? Oh, so pretty. My goodness, look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. But they just look like they're like angels, like floating or ghosts flying through the water. I don't know. It's, uh, they're pretty. So, yeah. should be good, I think. So what I'm doing is I'm giving a little bit of um, pressure when I when I bring this down. I give a little pressure at the bottom, and it kind of fans this out a little bit and goes a little boop boop boop. Look, <laughs> you know, the technical boop boop boop. Look. Oh, the adipose. It says it's adipose between the dorsal and the tail. Interesting.
Really? They don't have minnows? Don't have adipose fins. Hmm. Here's what we're looking at so far. I wonder in my gold pile here. more gold here it's just really tough I should go look and see if I have a softer batch somewhere yeah I want this for the back fin but I need another one so I need this much times two um Hang tight really quick. Let me go see. Let me go see if I can find some more gold like this. It's a great time for a restroom break if you need one.
came back. <clears throat> I found some more, but alas, it is also pretty stiff. Um, I, I passed it a few times through the Never Need, so it is uh, softened it up a great deal for me. <laughs> That's exciting. So I have to do a little bit of kneading. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. Oh, Jill, you're saying what else should be on the vines for your dragon? Um, so you've got you've got the vines and you've got the leaves. Um, huh? Maybe. Thorns. Thorns could be something. Little black thorns, possibly. It's interesting that this little scale maker that I got is exactly the right size for these fish. Looks nice. Great minds think alike, Star. <laughs> I'm hoping this will be enough for the tail, and then this will be enough for the dorsal fin. Is that right? Did I get it right, Nevada? Dorsal fin. So what I'm doing for this one is I'm tapering off both ends. And then trying to even it out. This is probably gonna be way too big. Let's uh Okay, <clears throat> so now that I've got this shape, I'm going to flatten.
What happened to you? Watch Bruce. Yes, this is the tail fin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the tail fin kind of like it's splashing up out of the water, kind of like this. Or like this. <clears throat> Something like that. Since the tail fin is up and down, there's not much I can do with it, the fish laying down like this, so I have to have to give it some some depth. Gotta 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 think up a cool pose for it. Like this. But I'm gonna texture it first. So I'm just ever so carefully <clears throat> pulling the clay down to the end of the fin, thinning it out, smashing it down, giving it that fun little finny design. Right. 
So I got half of it made. So now I'm going to do the other half. Or the other side, I should say. Anyone have any fun plans for today? Nice. Is it House on Haunted Hill? I think that's like like house on haunted hill right i think i think that's the one It kind of looks like molten gold laying here like this. I 
I'd invite you. You can come play board games with me anytime, Anna. We played Charterstone last night. It was so fun. Me and Jeff and the boys. What do we think of the tail? Do we like the tail? Is it fishy and swooshy and beautiful? Do we like? Does it look like he's a fish? Here, let me uh, try and give you guys a better view without it falling off. Lovely and flowing. Those are the words I needed to hear. All right, so I've got black eyes. Little, little, little black eyes. I guess I'll put the eyes in and then get the uh, I can say it. His little whiskers. So the eyes, they're my dragon eyes. Um, I put them in here. And I gotta push him in really far so that the bead the bead doesn't show. But it ends up looking really really nice, I think. Hey, Sonic! How is Sonic doing today? How's my little Koi doing today? Huh? Sonic thought it would be a great idea to call you guys uh, Koi. Like, my Kiwi Koi followers are, are Koi. And um, if I'm addressing all of you, how how is the pond today? You're all just Koi in a pond. Do replumpify a couple scales. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, new tool, Sonic. I got it off eBay a couple days ago. It's just got this little dealie on it and it makes scales. So I was testing it on this koi fish. I'll give you a closer view of the scales. If you can see it. So it makes it makes little scales for littler things. Thanks. They talked me into using it. I was really scared to try it because I'm a scaredy cat. But it turned out awesome. And now we have a nice flowy finned koi who is almost done. Wow. Shoot. If all koi just end up taking this long, I can I can make I can make them a lot more often. What's what's the next color koi I should make, everyone? Yeah, that's that's one. Mm -hmm. A cow koi. Black and white. Or white and black. And they don't have to be um they don't have to be actual fish in nature colors. I mean, you know, it can we can make fantasy fish. <laughs> it can be a pink and blue fish, you know, or whatever. Oh, he needs a dorsal fin. Why didn't you remind me in a motto? He almost made me forget. Or let me forget, I should say. It's just looking so pretty, I didn't want to cover it up with anything else. <laughs> Thank you, Namato. <laughs> All right. I need you to stay where I put you. I know it'll make you stay. A little bit of this. Oh, 
also. Where is it? Gonna blend this in. Yes. Yes, yes. Much better. Okay, uh, dorsal fin. Koi koi koi! <laughs> oh, you want to make uh, white, and, white and red? We can do white and red. Um, and I can also show you my colors. Yes. Let me uh, finish this guy off and then we can pull out colors and decide the next koi for the next stream. Back from an unsaid BRB. That's called Ninja AFK. There, Sonic. Didn't miss anything. I was just uh, strengthening up the tail, getting it connected, and getting the dorsal fin ready to be detailed. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to make it not so high, and then let me know what you think. Uh, I think I'm going to, let me cut it down a little bit.
What do you think of that height? No matter. Let me um let me texture it and then put it back on and see if that changes the height at all. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, let's uh, let's check it out, and then I can I can always just shave like I just keep shaving off the bottom to to bring it up. Does it need to go higher, or is that good? Yeah. Like, do I need to make it shorter? I'll have to look at the Marlin. I can't recall exactly how big their fin is. <laughs> what do you think of Namato? <clears throat> is it uh is it good? Or do we need to go shorter? I really like this one color fish. Like this is really gorgeous to me. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, cool. I'm going to Get this fin down. You would shorten it if it's not a butterfly. Got it. But it's good for the the flowy that's going on. And it's a lot smaller than the other fins, so like you said, you don't want to take away from everything. It's fine. Do you want to see my first koi fish I did? It was really, like, really out there. <laughs> Let me see if, uh, do I have it in my clay stuff? Hey, you guys want to see my very first creation ever? In case you've never seen it? This was, this was three years ago. My first dragon.
really epic. <laughs> The koi. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I gave him really, really long. Um, he has a really long dorsal fin. <laughs> it's huge. If I can get that. Yeah. He's gorgeous though. He's more like a fantasy fish. I tried to give him the uh, colors of my, my koi and my my crop. I did like the pattern of it. The pattern was fun. Yes, he is stamped. <clears throat> Thanks, Sonic. Yeah, oh, um, Anna, somebody who bought that one had an egg made from Mother Dragon Eggs. It's really cool. It's it's all black, and I think I think there's a little bit of red in it, but it's got one white dot in it to represent the eyes. It was really cool. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking this guy's done. And yeah, my style has definitely uh, transformed as I as I find things that I like when I do them. <clears throat> I try to I try to keep that style and then bring it to the next piece, and hopefully others like it as well. <laughs> Bloop. It's the sound it makes. Bloop. Hey, Namato, have you ever got to see my babies? Like, outside? Like, have I ever actually walked you outside to see them? Because now that I have this new special Wi-Fi, maybe, uh, Maybe I could start a stream with my phone real quick and, and take you out there and show you them. I know you like the fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, click colors. Um, thank you for reminding me. Um, but yes, I got new um, the Google Home Wi-Fi. 
so my Wi-Fi is better. And I also got a new Nighthawk Wi-Fi adapter for my computer so that my computer can uh, use Wi-Fi better. Showing Griffin my fish. Look, look at this. this little, and there's the little angel scales. Because I noticed, like, we got this nice new Wi-Fi and my computer was still not doing so hot. And it wasn't like, it was only grabbing 100 megabytes of my 400 that was available. Um, so I had a technician come out and found out that my adapter was only capable of grabbing 100. So he told me where to go and get, um, get it fixed. And so now it's fixed. And I can grab up to a gig now if available. <laughs> so yay. So hopefully like better streams, less lag, you know, all that good stuff that comes with good Wi-Fi. Do you guys want me to make another right now? And do we like, do we like the name Bloop? Do we want him to be named Bloop? <laughs> oh yeah, Griff, did you want to play something? Did you want to play Fortnite or anything? Uh, or even see if they use it? Sure. Which one? Fortnite. Fortnite? Alright. They updated to see if they use a little check the other day. They did? I didn't see like much that was updated because I didn't play for long, but... Oh my goodness, Sven. Hello. It's been so long. Oh, Sonic, you really like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Sven, we just finished a fish. And we made a fish. His name is Bloop. That is, that is his name. It's Bloop. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the next fish for tomorrow. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart a stream. Or if, if you're still here, Namato, are you still here? I'll start a stream really quick on my phone. And that way you can see my babies outside. Um, if you want to see my babies. How have you been, Sven? Mm -hmm. Yes, welcome back to the pond. What time do you work, JJ? Two. Two? Alright. I think we're playing a little Fortnite with Griffin. Yay! Good to hear it. Um, all right. So, um, let me let me restart on my phone so I can go show you guys my fish. Hopefully I'll be able to show them without the Wi-Fi cutting out. Because we now have these little pods that are positioned around the house that are blasting Wi-Fi instead of just one thing. Uh, yes, we're going to be having a Fortnite. Um, yes, I'm working on fish now. Yep. And I, and I managed to get this guy from 9 o'clock until now. He's done. So, two hours. Bam. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crank out more fish. Oh, and Anna wants to see some colors. So let me show Anna some colors real quick. Oh, and look, Sven, you missed this little guy. He's so cute. 
Okay. I have a pile of dragons and stuff. Alright. Colors! Um... Let me make room. Because it's not small. <laughs> Sven, no, Sven hasn't been around for a while. He's he's missed a few things. <laughs> Busy with life and all that. Uh, well, here's here's this little one that you missed. I can show pictures. Um, I think the Mother's Day was the last one you maybe saw, Sven. Here, let me grab a picture real quick so you can see the adorableness because it really is quite adorable he is so flippin cute and he's got like tattoos on him if it will show it Show it. Focus. And he's got a little wolf head on his back. Um, and then let's see. The mom. The mom is so pretty. She's so pretty. She's got that half head shaved thing going on. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me know how they how they arrive. So yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, and Rex, uh, Rex got his dragon. Of the, no, Rex's dragon is still on his way to him because he lives very far away. We'll let you, let you know when he gets his. All right, colors. Hang tight. It's big. White and black, you know. Um, uh, they got I got pearl and I have opal. Um, it's just really white. I got um, the two yellows and orange. You know what? Maybe I can take this down and just pull up each one. awkward no matter how we do it. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. Alright, so for reds we've got um we've got the uh is this the thing? We have like the Deadpool red and then a brighter red. And then we've got the um what are you? Magenta pearl. And this one is the sunset pearl. Magenta Pearl is what we used for this guy. I think. Yeah. They're very similar. One's just a slightly pinker than the other. Um, I've got the hot pink, but I only have this much left of it. So. Um, or the fluorescent pink, I should say. Um, we have regular pink. It's called Blush. Then we have that hot pink that we used for this dragon. I have more of it. It's just all I have in this right now. Um. What happened with the sugar? Oh, Bacorn's Mohawk? 
Um, Corn's Mohawk is cobalt blue. It's a blue that I, the only way you can get it is either from the um, multi-pack Primo, like a little starter pack deal, or you buy it straight from the company, just like the fluorescent pink that I have. It is a fairly new blue to my arsenal, so yeah. And then I got the Lid Turquoise Blue, and I've got this um, Periwinkle Blue. And I have this really dark blue, um, Ultramarine Blue. So there's, there's quite a few options for every color available, like got dark brown, slightly lighter brown, and then we got a tan. And then we've got a rhino gray. See? Options. And you wonder why it is so hard for me to pick colors. That's why it's like every day. It's really hard to do a dragon every day because my mind just can't. I can't. I can't think of color combinations. This is like 200 and... What are we, koi fish? Right. Oh wait, the corn, and then we had Motley, Motley Hue, 249, Koi Fish, blue. So the next one's going to be 250. Wow, that's a lot. Um, here's a color I have I I don't even know what I used it for. Rose gold glitter. It's all glittery and shiny. Um these come from the, the starter pack, so I'm not sure. I just know they're like Well, this one's this one. It's like 14 karat gold or antique gold or something like that. Antique Gold is that one. Then we've got this. I don't think that's that. Then this like dark coppery color. These are all like very glittery looking. Um, I have white gold glitter, which is actually like silver with massive amounts of glitter in it. And then this 18 karat gold. I use this one when I make like gold coins and stuff. This, this specific box I barely ever open when I pull out colors. Um, and again, we've got that white gold glitter. If you can see just how much glitter is in this thing, I mean, holy cow. This is, um, I think, this is your guy with the tongue sticking out, Willie and Wally, Anna. I think this is him. Pretty sure. Um, here's another color I barely ever used. Um, Alzerian Crimson Hue. Think like blood. Like really dark dried blood. It's like very dark maroon type of color. I used this when I like made like barbecue spill, barbecue sauce spill. <laughs> and I think I made a maskling with this once. So, if you guys could think of a use for this color, I wouldn't mind giving it a try. I forget about it that it's in here, because I never touch these glitter colors. Um, then I got this. It is a color that it, like does not exist anymore. Mm. It looks really cool. It's like a blue glitter. But the only problem, it is like a rock. So, I don't even know how, like, I can't even push it. I got it. And the stamp on it is 2015. <laughs> um, I thought maybe I could do something with it, but I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. And I don't think it's even in existence anymore. I'll have to look at the Primo site and see. 
because maybe they have a fresher one I can I think it's rock hard but it's really pretty looking okay next row we have black you've seen black I don't need to pull that out um, I got the granite and I've got silver or I'm sorry granite graphite pearl which alderman um, and then granite when we're doing like stuff like rocks and sand or whatever like using that um oh and um black twinkle 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 the uh, galaxy dragon black with glitter in it purples um purple pearl which i'm almost out of so that would if that were to be used for a fish it would have to be for um boy hey griff <laughs> yes caliber is griffin by the way <laughs> um it'd have to be used for like the like spots for the fish um wisteria i use this for like illidan and malfurion Use it for other stuff too. I can't think off the top of my head what for, but uh, and then we have this really dark. I no, I was I was looking at colors and I was explaining, so I wasn't looking it up. Um, I'm looking up now. <laughs> oh man, you, caliber needs some sugar. Oh, by the way, oh you missed this too, Sven. Look at that. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I always ignore him. Oh, dark purple. <laughs> He's waiting for me to play with him. I'm just showing them the colors and then we'll play. Oh boy, greens. Um, jungle green. It's really dark. Ooh, that's that's a great idea there, Sonic. Yes. Oh, you're on Minecraft. Okay. Um. So there's the the jungle, and then this one is the olive. Yes, the olive green. Um. Then we have this really bright green, which is called green. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um. Then we have the green pearl, which we just used yesterday. And then we have wasabi, which is the really bright, 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 almost yellow. I can get it all to fit. Yes, I can. Yeah, the, the wasabi is nice. Oh, I showed you the blue. You've seen the blue. Moving on. Um, that's it. That's all my colors. The rest is just, I have stuff set aside for things. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, those are the colors. So, yeah. Oh yay! You have you have other wasabi ideas. Cool. Or other color ideas. I was reading wasabi. Mm. Okay. Um, if you guys think of cool ideas for fish, message me. You message me on on here, or or just say it, and I'll do my best to remember, or I'll write it down. Griffin. Oh yes, I'm gonna show Namato the fish. So let me stop the stream and restart it on my phone and see if the Wi-Fi will work in the backyard. All right? So you guys, I will be right back. All right? 
Ooh. You want me to make an octopus? <laughs> an octopus? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 